Alright, welcome back. In this video, we're going to go over the question that involves us to shade. But this time around, we're going to look at uh, a different form where we have got um, different uh, a different setup for the, our Venn diagram. In this case, you can see that um, C is um, a subset of what? Is a subset of B. Okay. So now we are going to shade the given um, sets there. So if you look at uh, the first part, it is uh, requiring us to to shade the region A intersection B. So what is our A intersection B? We're just trying to look at the region that is part of uh, both A and B. So what is the common region there? So if you look at region B, basically your region B is basically this part. All this part going this side is part of B. Then if you look at the region that is part of our A, it's basically this part. So now, this region in between is basically the intersection. So if you are to shade the intersection, that is what you get to shade. Okay. Moving back, moving to the next question, it is requiring us to shade A intersection, B union C. Alright, so how do you get to do that? How do you get to shade A intersection B union C? So, as usual, we need to look at what's in the brackets first of all. Let me copy what we have. What we have is we have A being intersected with B union what? Union C. <laughs> okay. So, if you look at what's in the brackets, we have B union C. So, let's start by shading that part. So, I'll use um, one color for that. B union C, I'll use uh, the same color that I'm using now. So, for B union C, it requires us to combine B with C completely. Not just their intersection, but the entire region of B combined with C. So, if you look at what we have, the setup that we have, you're going to see basically that your C is basically part of B. So, if you say B union C, it is the same as saying what? It's the same as they're looking at what? In this case, it's the same as you're looking at um, B. Because if you look at B union C, it requires you to combine B with C. But if you just look at B itself, it's already going to combine C. So B union C in this case is the same as what? B. So in short, we, all we are trying to look at is A intersection what? A intersection B, which is just going to take us back to what we had shaded area, this region. Okay. So this is a common region. So that, is, that remains our answer. So, basically the first one and the second one are basically one and the same because of the fact that our C is a subset of what? Of B. Okay. Let's try to move. So, if we move to... Um, we can move to the third one. So, our third one is uh, basically C minus that. So C minus A intersection B requires us to exclude A intersection B from the region that is part of C. Okay, so we are we are in C, we're interested more in C, but we're excluding the intersection of A and B. So if you look at the intersection, what did we say about the intersection? We say the intersection of A and B is this region. So now we are not interested in that region. We're supposed to exclude it from C. We need to remove it from C. Meaning that what we are going to remain with is this part that I'm shading in what? In red. So that becomes our solution. The part that I've shaded in red is what we are, so we are required to, to shade. Okay. So we're excluding that part there. So this is what we have. Okay. So it's part of, it's a part of C that we've not shaded. That part of C, which is part of the intersection of A and B, we've not shaded it. So that's how you get to answer the third part of the question. Simple. It's very, very, very simple to solve. Okay. So what about if you say B minus C? What are you expected to do? If you say B minus C. So B minus C, basically, I'll draw back our C. So we have our C inside there. When you say B minus C, you're interested in the region that is part of B, excluding what? Excluding C. So B without C. So it's basically the region that is what? The region in B 
without what c so remember the c is the smaller set inside b so the outer region excluding the c remember our c is basically what we have inside there so outside that within b is what we use our b minus c b minus c means b without what without c okay let's try to move on so if you look at um, the next question the next question requires us to to find a intersection b intersection c complement complement there so remember i said a when you have a complement um, when you have b intersection c complement it's the same as um, b minus c so we have a complement outside there so remember for our setup what we have is we have our a then we have our b then we have our c inside there so this is our a this is our b and this and this is our c so now we're interested first of all to find the intersection of b minus c a intersected with b minus c complement so start with what is in the brackets so what is your b minus c b minus c is the region of b without c which we are from saying it's basically this region within b excluding c that is b minus now we are not interested in that region because of what because of the complement so we are interested in the region outside that so if you are to share the region outside what you've shaded your result is basically going to be what so it would require you to shed c itself c is going to be shaded then also the region outside okay that's what it means when you say complement b minus c was just the, the region inside there now this region was b minus c so its complement would require you to shade the region outside it and that's what we and this is what we are having so now what are we going to do so we need to find its intersection with the a so if you try to shade your a what are you going to have so your a is basically this region It's this region okay so what are you going to have as a result so in short in summary what we're saying is uh, where we have both colors is what is what is our intersection so this region together with uh, that region there so that is what is going to make up our shading so if you get to shade that you have your you have your a you have your b then you also have your what you have your c there <laughs> okay so not basically that this kind of drawing that i've done um let me just try to draw it again so we have our a then we have our b then our c is inside there so the region that we shaded if you're able to remember is basically this region and also that region that is what is making up that set so this is our a our b and our c so that is what you're supposed to shed for this part of the question finally let's try to look at um, the last one which is basically a complement so remember that is our a this is our b and what we have inside is a c there so we have a complement intersection b minus c that's what we have so now b minus c we understand it's a region of b without c so that requires you to shade the region outside what outside c but uh, within b okay that is our b minus c b without c you look at b then you exclude c so that's what we have shaded there then we need to intersect it with a complement so a complement requires you to shade the region outside what requires you to share the region outside a so if you share the region outside a you remember this is where your a is passing so outside that this is what you're going to shade so now we are looking at the intersection where do we have both colors what do you get to look at so basically ultimately what you have as our solution 
that is our a our b then our c so if you look at um, this as your a b and c and the region that is basically shaded is just the c the inner c without a so it's this part the inner part of b c is not part of a shaded region and this part is also not part so this part is also excluded because we only have green there we don't have um, yellow so basically it's only this region this region and that's basically what we've shaded c is not part of a shading remember that is our c so the shaded region is basically the solution to our final question there so that's it for this video thank you very much for your taking time to